So Brazil has surpassed Italy, Spain and Britain with the third highest number of the COVID-19 cases in the world. The Latin American nation is slowly emerging as a COVID-19 hotspot, even as the country's president is calling the virus as a little flu. With over 254,000 confirmed cases, Brazil remains behind only the United States and Russia. The pandemic has claimed almost over 16,000 lives in the country as the death toll continues to surge. But the worst is yet to come for the Latin American nation. Now, experts believe that low testing rates in the country mean that the real figures could almost be 15 times higher than what has now been officially reported. The countries have ever torn on how to respond to the virus. While states, the individual states within Brazil and the governors have stepped up their battle against the virus with strict restrictions, believe it or not, it is the president of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, who is describing these lockdown measures as hysteria around the virus. He's asked the country to get back to work. The president himself has been taking part, believe it or not, the president of the country taking part in protest rallies in the country to open the country up. Bolsonaro was even seen joining motorcades and continued to address people without wearing a face mask, even though he continued to cough and sneeze. The country is also currently functioning amidst a pandemic without a health minister. The Bolsonaro is now looking for his third health minister since the pandemic broke out in the country. And this comes after his second minister resigned just last week after less than one month on the job. Meanwhile, hospitals in several areas are also nearing their full capacity as the number of cases continue to surge. Now, the grounds of Rio de Janeiro's iconic Maracana Stadium have been converted into a makeshift hospital to treat the COVID-19 patients. Now, the hardest hit cities have also begun burying the victims in mass graves. But the biggest fear for the country remains the spread of the virus amongst the indigenous tribes of Amazon. Now, the visuals that you're looking at on your screen show the doctors evacuating the critical COVID-19 patients by plane to the only intensive care units that are available in the region. The more than 540 cases have been confirmed amongst the 40 tribes, indigenous tribes in the remote Amazon region.